my friends, before we get this video started, I will drop a link below for the next video that you guys should go watch. It's from the guys over at Banks. They're dropping a new series. Uh, they just bought an old, I believe it's a Chevy C10, C20. It's a 66. It's an old, old truck. It's a pretty cool series that they're starting with this new truck. Uh, make sure you guys go show them some love. Go watch that video. It's going to be a cool series. But other than that, let's get this video started. Can I see your certified uh, man lift operator license here? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's in, you got it? Yeah. I got oh, okay, cool, cool. Oh, your dog ate it. Hold on, let me. <laughs> You're gonna get launched out of that thing. Go slower. Should be really it's thin. Pretty, pretty thick. <laughs> yeah, she's a little thick. You know, if kids these say kids kids these days say you know thicker than a Snickers. <laughs> showing off your manhood with that pull string. This is an easy start version, bro. The salesman talked me into the easy start. I'm not happy about it, okay? You know what they say, first, first startup, <laughs> What is going on, my friends? Welcome back. It is Monday morning, and as you can tell, we are spending a little bit of time outside on this cold day. I'm gonna talk over here because it's really loud, but what we're doing is we need to trim some tree branches uh, because to get power back to the new shop, they have to set a pole on my property. We're gonna try and stick it in these trees to kinda, kinda cover it up a little bit. Um, so we need to trim a little bit to kind of put the uh, pole in the middle of that area. So we are stealing the uh, builder's uh, sky lift, whatever you want to call that, that they left here. Uh, I believe the guy who is doing the gutters is going to use that, but uh, they're not here right now. And we need to trim some trees uh, pretty high up. So lucky we have this, but uh, that's what we're doing first thing this morning so the guys can come set that pole and we can get power back to the new shop. Hey, be careful, you really gotta pull that thing. Those things are more dangerous than they are good.
Well, we just finished up with the tree trimming and go figure, he came to pick it up right as we were done. So perfect timing. By the way, we really need to do something about widening the driveway. So that's on the, uh, that's on the list. Yeah, see the mailbox gets you right there every time. We're gonna have to widen this driveway, right? We need, we need, we need a double, we need a double lane, extra wide entrance. But we got the tree trimming done for the pole and the scissor lift is on its way home. Duramax is working. I'm over here in the shop, you know. Hey, Michael. Michael, where's my hat, dude? Hey, can you, have you found my hat? I haven't seen it. Uh, I just got done 20 minutes trying to look for my hat. This guy over here with my hat. Anyway, I'm not gonna disrupt this clip with your shenanigans, but we are in the shop getting warmed back up. Michael, where did you get this? Where did you get this Canadian approved weather gear? Canada. You, you, you went to Canada to get that? Mm -hmm. You look good with a hat on, buddy. Thanks. I don't know. I don't know about me though. Anyway, we're back, we're back inside. Uh, wait, but really, you really go to Canada to get that? Don't show you. Your hair is. Oh, it's 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 luscious right now. Um. Anyway. Uh. Hey. Sh quick quick side note. A lot of people have been asking about the diesel can uh, t-shirts and hoodies. Guess what? Good news. They are coming back February first. Shameless plug. Anyway, we're back here working on the race truck, getting warmed up. Michael, these floors, they're so cold. I don't know how, how we work like this, but uh, we're gonna mount the rear shocks. So we've had some hardware issues, problems. We finally have the correct rear shock mounts for our four link brackets to work with this shock setup that we have. So we finally have the tabs, the correct uh, billet. Oh, thank you, my hat's back on. Now the camera can be on my head. Um, you know, we finally have the correct brackets and uh, we're ready to mount the rear shocks. We're gonna kind of continue to work on the drag truck um, because if we don't spend every waking moment on this thing, it will never get done. And hopefully all of our racing is still on schedule. So we're just gonna keep plugging away. Um, and yeah, that's where we're at. We're gonna mount that up, mount some other stuff, get these body, body panels mounted, maybe work on some doors, maybe bounce to something else, but we're back on race truck, dude. off it's actually the next day we went ahead and got the shock mounts uh, tacked on the back they just need to be fully welded up but uh, that is pretty much all we got done yesterday um, Michael and I have just been having a lot of conversations about what's going on in the world and uh, all of the craziness that's been happening so uh, we, did, we didn't have a very productive day yesterday for just being completely honest but uh, we're actually switching gears again on you guys this is uh, this is kind of a all over kind of video but we are actually headed outside um, because we want to just we want to keep going on the shop progress out here so uh, all of the electrical stuff that we were talking about yesterday the pole um, we're actually gonna start getting ready to do that trench so we went ahead and we moved uh, the trucks out of the way and we are going to uh, cut this tree down and we're gonna move this dirt pile out of the way. Probably have to move uh, the garbage trailer out of the way as well. Um, we have to take this tree down, one, because the trailers that are gonna get parked here are gonna be in the way, and it is also right in the way of our trench that we need to dig right here. The trench is basically gonna go a complete straight line right in here to the building for the power. Um, so we, instead of, instead of getting some more work done inside the shop, the temperature has actually come up. Um, 
it's supposed to be I think in the 40s today um, and then it's supposed to be rainy cold miserable uh, the next couple days so we're trying to trying to plan our outside activities around some of the weather so uh, today we're back outside um, again I apologize for jumping around a little bit so uh, we're just excited about the shop we want to kind of continue the shop uh, progress and try to continue that um, all while still trying to get the race truck done at the same time so anyway the uh, the 05 didn't the 05 was the only thing that didn't want to start let's uh it's been on the charger let's see if this thing will fire up now it's a little cold but let's see if let's see if she'll go here oh i think she'll go i think she'll go uh, maybe not i think the battery i think the battery is completely dead in this thing we will need to get a new battery but for now uh but anyway that is where uh tuesday is starting we are going to light this tree on fire we've got this other tree over here that we had to cut down so we're just going to kind of keep moving you know just uh the the name of the game is just to keep working every day you know things will get knocked out if you just just do something um so that's what we're trying to do <laughs> you got can you guys hear that woodpecker so a lot of people have been asking about the family channel for some reason all of a sudden recently. Uh, we're actually working on another video. Allie is uh, tearing apart the bathrooms right in here. Um, so more home renovations, just, uh, just nonsense all over the place. But anyway, we have been we have been chainsawing it up in here, making sure we're prepped, ready to go. Michael's gonna put on his 17 layers and we're gonna move some dirt and cut some trees down. Oh. Gold star. I have faith. This is what it did last time. It has glow plugs. Oh, does it? Yeah. See the light next to the seatbelt? Yeah. Wait till that goes up. Oh. Huh, I don't know. Imagine that! You stuck in there? And I thought, I was like, man, you're moving it around like perfect. I was like. <laughs> Come on, baby. Yeah, yes. glass what's the matter you can't see behind you not even a little bit
You want to do it with a truck? Uh, yeah. That'd probably be better, huh? It's sure. just tearing up the grass. Oh. I can't turn real good, and then also too, we can we can cut some of that up and lose some weight. Well, Bob just wasn't getting it done. So, called in recruits. Tear it up, we might as well tear it up, have some fun. Got her. Just, just clean it up the yard. this wood there's all this mud all over it yeah I don't think we did any favors with uh <laughs> with drying it out maybe we should have taken it down the road we dried it out yes <laughs> hey, well, at least we're only uh 15 feet from our uh <laughs> our burn pit <laughs> well guys like Michael uh, like Michael said if we're gonna tear up the lawn and need to move a tree we might as well uh, have some fun so uh you know, we got the uh, got the trusty 05 out. Did some uh, sled pulling action. Uh, that was fun. Now we gotta now we gotta clean it. <laughs> but uh, we've got this one branch to move. to be a tree there. I don't think the camera was quite on for all of the time-lapse footage, but uh, we have burned the entire tree up. Uh, it took us quite a bit of the day, but uh, that is all that's left right in the fire. I won't tell you guys how many gallons of uh, accelerant that we uh, may or may have had to dump on that to get all that to go, but uh, it's no big deal. It's not like we have a fuel source close by or anything, but hey, Got to do what you got to do. We were uh, we were marginally safe about it, but you know what? We're done, and we knocked that out. We did not we did not really get a chance to do a whole lot of uh, dirt moving. Uh, we kind of focused on getting this tree done, out of the way, cleaned up. Uh, quite a chore, wasn't? I mean, wasn't a small tree by any chance. So, uh, but we got it done. So uh, had a little fun in the meantime, and uh, yeah. 
I think we're ready. I think we're ready to go back to working on trucks now. You know, it's just a nice mixture. You know, you you come outside here, uh, and then you get sick of working outside, and then you go inside and start working on trucks again. So, um, I think that that's what we're about to do. We're gonna let that kind of go uh, for a little while, and uh, yeah, we need to get the racetrack done. This poor thing, poor thing has dirt everywhere now, including including inside like there, there's dirt on the center on the dash oh uh, now we need to clean this thing we can't leave it like the way it is oh man there's just dirt there's dirt up inside everywhere that's the only problem with all this i think the front tires i'm scared to look underneath here oh yeah uh <laughs> oh man right in the drive shaft loop look at that thing it's packed Oh, look at that. Uh, you know, five seconds of fun and about seven hours worth of cleaning. But you know what? Uh, what's life without having a little bit of fun, you know? So uh, we'll have to spend a whole lot of time cleaning this thing up, but we'll get it done. No wrap to protect the paint anymore, but is what it is, boys. Is what it is. <clears throat> Huh, wonder where all that oil went. <laughs> Michael, did you go drop off all that oil out of Riley's? Okay, good, all right, just just, just checking. I mean, I saw all the empty buckets out here. There's, you know. All right, my friends, that is pretty much going to wrap up this video. Another day closer to uh, just working on the shop, getting the shop done, whatever you wanna call it. So just all, all necessary work that has to get done in order to move into the new shop, get that thing functional. So uh, cross that off the list. We'll keep crossing things off the list. We'll be back in the shop uh, the next couple days uh, working on uh, the drag truck, just trying to get that done uh, little by little. So anyway, that is gonna wrap it up. I will see you guys in the next video. Hit the thumbs up button before you leave. Subscribe if you have not already. I'll see you guys very soon. See ya.